Let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in your sight, O Lord, my strength and my Redeemer. Let us confess our sins against God and our neighbor. Most merciful God, we confess that we have sinned against you in thought, word, and deed, by what we have done and by what we have left undone. We have not loved you with our whole heart. We have not loved our neighbors as ourselves. We are truly sorry and in humble repent for the sake of your Son, Jesus Christ. Have mercy on us and forgive us, that we may delight in your will and walk in your ways to the glory of your name. Amen. Almighty God, have mercy on you. Forgive you all your sins through our Lord Jesus Christ. Strengthen you in all goodness by the power of the Holy Spirit. Keep you in eternal life. Amen. Lord, open our lips, and I shall proclaim your praise. Glory to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Hallelujah. The earth is the Lord's, for he made it. Come, let us adore him. Come, let us sing to the Lord. Let us shout for joy to the rock of our salvation. Let us come before his presence with thanksgiving and raise a loud shout to him of psalms. For the Lord is a great God and a great King above all gods. In his hands are the caverns of the earth and the heights of the adults are his also. This sea is the what we made it. In his hands hath molded the dry land. Come, let us bow down and bend the knee and kneel before the Lord our Maker. For he is our God, and we are the people of his pasture, and the sheep of his hand. For that today you would hearken to his voice. Psalm 72 is found on page 685. Give the king your justice, O God and your righteousness to the king's son, that he may rule your people righteously and the poor with justice, that the mountains may bring prosperity to the people and the little hills bring righteousness. He shall defend the needy among the people. He shall rescue the poor and crush the oppressor. He shall live as long as the sun and moon endure from one generation to another. He shall come down like rain upon the long hill, like showers that water the earth. In his time shall the righteous flourish. There shall be abundance of peace, till the moon shall be no more. He shall rule from sea to sea, and deliver to the end of the earth. His foes shall come down before him, and his enemies lift the dust. The king crushes, the earth shall pay tribute and the kings of Arabia and Saba offer gifts. All the kings shall bow down before him, and all the nations do him service. For he shall deliver the poor who cries out in distress, and the oppressed who has no helper. He shall have pity on the lowly and poor. He shall preserve the lives of the needy. He shall redeem their lives from oppression and violence. And here shall their blood be his son. Long may he live, may there be given to him gold from Arabia, may prayer be made for him always, may they bless him all the day long, may there be abundance of grain on the earth, he will predict the kingdom of the gods, he may his fruit flourish like Lebanon, and his grain like grass upon the earth. May his name remain forever and be established as long as the sun endures. May all the nations bless themselves in him and call him blessed. Blessed be the Lord God of Israel, who alone does wondrous deeds, and blessed be his glorious name forever. And may all the earth be filled with his glory. Amen. Amen. Glory to the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, 
is now, and will be forever. Amen. A reading from the book of Samuel, the second book of Samuel. Just as David sent Abner away, the servants of David arrived with Joab from Array, bringing much spoil with them. But Abner was not with David in Hebron, for David had dismissed him, and he had gone away in peace. When Joab and all the army that was with him came, it was told Joab, Abner, son of Ner, came to the king, and he has dismissed him, and he has gone away in peace. Then Joab went to the king and said, What have you done? Abner came to you? Why did you dismiss him so that he got away? You know that Abner, son of Ner, came to deceive you and to learn your comings and goings and to learn all that you are doing. When Joab came out from David's presence, he sent messengers after Abner, and they brought him back from the cistern of Surah. But David did not know about it. When Abner returned to Hebron, Joab took him aside in the gateway to speak with him privately and there he stabbed him in the stomach. So he died for shedding the blood of Asahel, Joab's brother. After when, word, when David heard of it, he said, I and my kingdom are forever guiltless before the Lord for the blood of Abner, son of Ner. May the guilt fall on the head of Joab and on all his father's house. And may the house of Joab never be without one who has a discharge or who is leprous or who holds a spindle, or who falls by the sword, or who lacks food. So Joab and his brother Abishai murdered Abner because he had killed their brother Asahel at the battle in Gibeon. When David said to Joab and to all the people who were with him, tear your clothes and put on sackcloth and mourn over Abner, and King David followed the bier, they buried Abner in Hebron. The king lifted up his voice and wept at the grave of Abner, and all the people wept. The king lamented for Abner, saying, Should Abner die as a fool dies, your hands were not bound, your feet were not fettered. As one falls before the wicked, you have fallen. And all the people wept over him again. Then all the people came to persuade David to eat something while it was still day. But David swore, saying, so may God do to me and more if I taste bread or anything else before the sun goes down. All the people took notice of it, and it pleased them just as everything the king did pleased all the people. So all the people and all Israel understood that day that the king had no part in the killing of Abner, son of Ner. And the king said to his servants, Do you not know that a prince and a great man has fallen this day in Israel? Today I am powerless, even though anointed king. These men, the sons of Zariah, are too violent for me. The Lord paid back the one who does wickedly in accordance with his wickedness. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Article 11, Arise, shine, for your light has come, for the glory of the Lord has dawned upon you. For oh, behold, darkness covers the land, deep gloom enshrouds the peoples, but for you the Lord will rise, and his glory will appear upon you. Nations will stream to your light, and kings to the brightness of your dawning. Your gates will always be open. By day or night they will never be shut. They will call you the city of the Lord, the Zion of the Holy One of Israel. Violence will no more be heard in your land, nor in destruction within your borders. You will call your walls salvation and call your portals praise. The sun will no more be your light by day, and by night it will not be the brightness of the moon. The Lord will be your everlasting life, and your God will be your glory. Glory to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. A reading from the 
the Gospel according to Mark. When evening came, the boat was out on the sea, and Jesus was alone on the land. When he saw that they were straining at the oars against an adverse wind, he came towards them early in the morning, walking on the sea. He intended to pass them by, but when they saw him walking on the sea, they thought it was a ghost and cried out, for they all saw him and were terrified. But immediately he spoke to them and said, Take heart, it is I, do not be afraid. Then he got into the boat with them, and the wind ceased. And they were utterly astounded, for they did not understand about the loaves, but their hearts were hardened. When they had crossed over, they came to the land of Gennesaret and moored the boat. When they got out of the boat, people at once recognized him and rushed about that whole region and began to bring the sick on mats to wherever they heard he was. And wherever he went, in the village or city or farm, they laid the sick in the marketplaces and begged him that they might touch even the fringe of his cloak. And all who touched it were healed. The word of the Lord. Article 16. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has come to his people and set them free. He has raised us for us among his Savior, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets he promised a war, that he would save us from our enemies, from the hands of all who hate us. He promised to show mercy to our fathers and to remember his glory covenant. This was the oath he swore to our father Abraham, to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight, all the days of our life. You, my child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, so you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation, by the forgiveness of their sins, in the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us, to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death, and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, Creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, His only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, and was crucified, died, and buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day, He rose again. He ascended into heaven. And he is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. The Lord be with you. Let us pray, suffrage A. Show us your mercy, O Lord, and grant us your salvation. Clothe your ministers with righteousness, and your people sing you glory. Give peace, O Lord, in all the world, for only in you can we live in safety. Lord, keep this nation under your care. And guide us in the way of justice and truth. Let your way be known upon earth, which is a known among all nations. Let not the needy, O Lord, be forgotten, nor will the poor be taken. Create in us clean hearts, O God, and sustain us with your Holy Spirit. O God, the author of peace and love of concord, to know you is eternal life, and to serve you is perfect freedom. Defend us, your humble servant, in all assaults of our enemies, that we, surely trusting in your defense, may not fear the power of any adversaries, through the might of Jesus Christ, our Lord. 
good God Almighty and everlasting Father, you have brought us in safety to this new day. Preserve us with your mighty power, that we may not fall into sin, nor be overcome by adversity. And in all we do, direct us to the fulfilling of your purpose, through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Mighty God, who raised up your servant Samuel Ferguson, and inspired in him a missionary vision of your church and education and ministry, stir up in us through his example a zeal for a church alive for, with your holy word, reaching forth in love and service to all, through Jesus Christ our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Today we lift up the diocese of Wari in Nigeria and our diocese in prayer cycle. We pray for St. Mary's in Diaspora and Kulyoto, food country. We also pray for one holy Catholic and Apostolic Church in the world. We pray for the diocese of West Tennessee, Bishop Phoebe, Captain Sharon, diocese and leadership. We also pray for our own parish, St. Andrews. The Lord, you bless us, bless our spiritual lives. We pray that you would teach us even more about repentance and conversion. We pray that you would continue to bless our prayer work and study, and our inreach and our reach and our partners. We pray specifically for those who are in our, on our prayer list, those who are having a hard time, those who are sick. We pray, oh God, that you who can touch who is the Lord of all creation who knows everything about our, our bodies and our, our chemicals and every cell in our bodies that Lord you would come and intervene and touch with your warm hands of healing that our people Lord may, may sense you and may be healed we pray also for those who are, are at home who wish they could come to church but they can I pray for them those who are having enormous difficulties and anxiety and depression I pray the Lord you would come mightily in their lives and bless your name for for healing them for for sensing you moving mightily in their lives we pray for those in the emergency staff the doctors and nurses, the firefighters, the police officers. We pray for their safety, for courage, for strength, to save other people's lives every day. We pray for their protection, for them to come home to their families every day, to the dangers that they go through every day. We may add in the sessions of thanksgiving at this time. Peace of the Lord be always with you.
to page 267. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right to give him thanks. It is right and a good and joyful thing always and everywhere to give thanks to you, Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. Therefore we praise you, joining our voices with angels and archangels and with all the company of heaven who forever sing this hymn to proclaim the glory of your name. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of power and might, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. We give thanks to you, O God, for the goodness and love which you have made known to us in creation, the calling of Israel to be your people, in your words spoken to the prophets, and above all in the word made flesh, Jesus, your Son. Who in his last days you sent him to be incarnate of the Virgin Mary, to be the Savior and Redeemer of the world. In him you have delivered us from evil, and made us worthy to stand before you. In him you have brought us out of error into truth, out of sin into righteousness, out of death into life. On the night before he died for us, our Lord Jesus Christ took bread. When he had given thanks to you, he broke it and gave it to his disciples and said, Take, eat, this is my body which is given for you. Do this for the remembrance of me. After supper he took the cup of wine. When he had given thanks, he gave it to them and said, Drink this, all of you. This is my blood of the new covenant, which is shed for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Whenever you drink it, do this for the remembrance of me. Therefore, according to his command, O Father, we remember his death, we proclaim his resurrection, we await his coming in glory. And we offer our sacrifice of praise and thanksgiving to you, O Lord of all, presenting to you from your creation this bread and this wine. We pray you, gracious God, to send your Holy Spirit upon these gifts, that they may be the sacrament of the body of Christ and his blood of the new covenant. Unite us to your Son in his sacrifice that we may be acceptable through him, being sanctified by the Holy Spirit. In the fullness of time, put all things in subjection of the Lord Christ, and bring us to that heavenly country, where with the Blessed Virgin Mary and all your saints we may enter the everlasting heritage of your sons and daughters, through Jesus Christ our Lord, the firstborn of all creation, the head of the church, and the author of our salvation. By him and with him and in him, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all honor and glory is yours, Almighty Father, now and forever. Amen. Now, as our Savior Christ has taught us, we are bold to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Hallelujah! Christ our Passover is sacrificed for us. Therefore, let us keep the feast. Hallelujah! The gifts of God for the people of God. Take them in remembrance that Christ died for you, and feed on Him in your hearts, 
by faith with thanksgiving. Let us pray. Eternal God, Heavenly Father, you have graciously accepted us as living members of your Son, our Savior, Jesus Christ. And you have fed us with spiritual food in the sacrament of his body and blood. Send us now into the world in peace and grant us strength and courage to love and serve you with gladness and singleness of heart. The peace of God, which passes all understanding, keep your hearts and minds in the knowledge and love of God and of His Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord, and the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be amongst you and remain with you always. Move forth in the name of Christ. Alleluia, alleluia. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. Alleluia, alleluia.